Hi, this is Tony Nasca with DoveNet Software. Today we're going to be introducing the newest addition to the DoveNet Software Suite, and that is our expense posting module. The expense posting module lets you capture expenses, but in a much more detailed way. Now you can capture the receipt itself and declare the type of expense, whether it's reimbursable, etc all from TPS Mobile. This is certainly available for the technicians, but it is also available for any staff member as long as you have TPS Mobile uh, active on your system. So what we're going to do is bring up TPS Mobile. And certainly there are other videos regarding setting up TPS Mobile and etc. But I'm going to speak specifically to the expense portion of it. Under work orders, we have a service ticket that's already been declared. And now we're into the service ticket. And we have here a menu option. Under menu, you have the ability to upload an image. And from here, it brings you to the screen where you can capture an image on the receipt. There's also the ability to capture images relating to work orders. You know, a picture of the, for example, I have here a picture of a punch block screen that I can go ahead and capture this or some sort of repair that was made. And now we're seeing that, you know, in this example here, all the network lights are lit up. So certainly a functionality for the work order side. But there's also the ability to capture an image on the expense side. And so now what we've done is we've added the ability to declare the type of expense and if I click on this list here, you now have a, a list of the different types of expenses. And I'm going to choose meal in this example here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up a receipt. Now, obviously, if you're on a, a mobile device, you can use the camera of that device to pick up this receipt. And so I'm going to say Ruby Tuesday dash lunch. And then we come down here under the selection options, meals, paid for by employee, and reimbursable. And so you notice you've got drop downs for all these different functions, and whether it's billable to the customer, et cetera, and the amount of the bill, in this case, uh, 33.05. Now, this drop down list is fully customizable, and on the list of items itself, they are tied directly to your general ledger so that they go to the right place all the way into QuickBooks for payment purposes. And I'll go ahead and finish this off here, capture the image like so, and we're done with capturing the two images related to this project. Now, I do need to com complete the service ticket, so I'm going to go ahead and add some materials like so, add my materials I want to use on the work order. I'm also going to capture a signature from the customer. So I can go ahead and capture that as well. And I can go ahead and then complete the work order here. And we go ahead and put this. I started at uh, 8.15 p.m. And I finished at uh, 9, 9.15 p.m. Like so. And this was a repair. So we come over here. Well, I guess we did say lunch. So that would be more like. 12, 12 p.m. and let's say 1.30 p.m., something like that. We come down here, of course, we can send ourselves a receipt and that's all fine. I'm not gonna do that. Close out the service ticket. Here's where I can enter what I did. Installed speaker and tested system, okay. Of course, you could type it a lot more. I'm just going to make this a brief example. So we close out our service ticket like so. And we come out and we're done. Now, a couple points on TPS Mobile that should be mentioned. Under Quick Post Expenses, you could choose a job like so. And you could post time to a job. But notice we've added capture expenses with images as well here. I should note that there used to be an expense 
uh, button down here that you could add expenses, but we've turned off that module uh, so that you can use this expense screen over here like so, and now you're just back to the same screen where you could declare the type of expense, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. One other point that should be mentioned is under expenses, you might have a case where you don't have an image. For example, uh, mileage. So if I come down here to expense type and type in mileage, now it's actually looking for the number of miles. Let's say it was 100 miles for this particular trip. Notice we're doing a survey in this example here. And we're, the person's using their own vehicle, so that's reimbursable. So I would click over mileage, pay for by employee, reimbursable, and it would not be billable in that example because there's no customer yet. So you can deal with modules. There's also a way where you can default the cost of that mileage. The default is 50 cents a mile, but you can change it back in setup. So let's close this now and go into the office. So on the office side, we go ahead and process the work orders like we normally would. And the system goes ahead and creates the work orders, changes the status, sends out the work orders to the customer, all of those normal things that would be done uh, through the system. But what's new and has changed is the following. Once those expenses have come in, we can come over here to task, job cost posting, and job cost item reporting. And now when we select extras, we have a new button here called edit unposted extras. Now, this is an option you turn on, but more likely you will turn this option on so that you can approve those expenses. And you see here we've got expenses from a couple different staff members like so. And so I've gone ahead and added these expenses. You'll notice it brought in our lunch and meals and entertainment and who it was paid for and it's all billable. And you've got the amounts out here that you can approve and all of these fields are editable. If you want to change the classification, the same drop down list is available to you here as well. So it's a fully integrated package all the way through from beginning to end. Now this screen is specifically designed for approving. And if you want to, if you're approval, you would just go ahead and approve and you can approve these uh, line by line like so. And you see I've approved all of these thus far. Notice also there's a show image button here. So if I wanted to look at the receipt, I could click on this guy here. So you can actually see the receipt that was captured in the field. Additionally, if you want to ask a question to the sender, be it in this case NASCA or Tom, you can go ahead and send a message and over here it'll actually capture the image so it's available for them to see the image and all the data that was picked up and then you can go ahead and ask your question and hit send and they receive an email message with the question and then that'll come back by email and you can go ahead and finish this approval process after you get the question answered. And so I would just go ahead and say approve. And so I've approved all my receipts. And if for some reason you wanted to clear that approval, you have the ability to clear it. And you can then not post it until such time as you've got the approval or you want to approve it. Once you're done with this, you can come over here to done and save. And now it's ready for posting to the job cost system. Also note that there's ability to report on those times. So I could do a report of the reimbursable ones and then I could put those into accounts payable and pay them. You can actually run an internal report for the staff in staff order before they're processed and after they're processed. You can also run by date range. So a lot of reporting capabilities and when you're finished with the selection of those reports, click on here and it brings up the report. You notice you've got this sorted by 
the representative instead of the project with the details, type of expense, etc. And you'll notice there's a hyperlink here for the actual image. So as long as you're in the office and the link is correct, you can click on this and it will actually bring up the image. But there's your image like so. So really powerful capabilities have been added at the report level. Now, when you're all said and done with these expenses, for the reimbursable expenses, you just go ahead and post this. And that will actually not only post it to the job cost module of project, but it will also seed the accounts payable export module to send it into QuickBooks. So I'm going to click over here on this, and I'm going to say post approved unposted extras. It does its little thing. It's actually launching the accounts payable interface, and it's done. We're back at top menu again, and if we bring up the project where we had the expenses, and we go to tech, we have our work order tied to this particular project, and we can view the work order that the customer has seen. And we get the work order with signature. But notice we also have a checkbox here to include images. So I can click on this guy now, and this is going to be the work order image. And that would be the picture of that uh, punch block that we saw before. If we click on this other checkbox here, we can have the, the expense images, or we can have both. So I can click on here, and now I have the punch block image, and I hit next, and I have the receipt as well. So the images are fully available later on past the job cost module as well. Now, from here, we would go ahead in our normal course of activities, we would go ahead and post the export to QuickBooks like we'd normally do. And then we come over here to QuickBooks and we would bring that data in. File Utilities Import, IIF, and I click on Accounts Payable it brings the data in. And if I go to enter bills, like so, and go back a bill, you notice we have our by project number and GL posting code, the sum of those postings by this person. The system has created an invoice number, a fictitious invoice number, related to the amount to be paid. And if we go back to the next one, then we get the other person as well. So this makes it very easy for you to pay with the accounts payable module like you would give them an expense check any other way. So there you go. There is a demonstration of our new expense posting module that is part of the suite for DoveNet software and specifically TPS Mobile. Feel free to call sales for more information on pricing. We look forward to working with you on this capability. Thank you.